This is an updated video on my Arduino stepper motor circuit and associated programming for Arduino. I'm your host, Louis Laughlin. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. I'm just going to give you a brief schematic overview and then you can see the actual live video of the motor in action. In this case, we're going to be using uh, an I2C LCD display and we will demonstrate how current varies depending on motor stepper speed. Let's note that um, how a stepper motor briefly works is you're switching off a set of coils. It's usually two coils, coils and in the case here we're going to be dealing with a unipolar stepper motor. This is your basic Arduino connection. I'm just using digital pins oh, 8 through 11. These are specified in the schematic. This deal over here with yellow, orange, brown, black. This happens to be the color of the motor wires. A lot of them seems to come out that way as I originally used them. Here is your MOSFET driver circuit, very straightforward. We have a gate bleeder resistor. You feed your Arduino outputs directly to this, and the outputs go to the associated stepper motor coils. Here are your stepper motor coils. This happened to be a six wire device in this case. It's fairly straightforward. You can follow the blue to blue in the schematic. It's three small schematics instead of one big messy one. Note that these diodes are one end 4000 ones. These are spike suppressor diodes. You need one for each winding in the case of this. Um, our previous slide that used the power MOSFETs, which in my case was an IRF630, also has built-in suppressor diodes. And that's the brief schematics. You can look at the actual programming on the website. I won't go deeply into that. Other than to say I came into a problem with the original Arduino stepper motor library. To put it simple, I thought it was crap. So I wrote my own. It has basically three routines, motor stop, forward, and reverse. And the rest of it is simply various delays. You can detect switches and so forth. In another video, uh, okay, note that there's no current limiting or safety circuits. Safety circuits. It's simply going to be getting your motor running. The following video from this one, I'm going to introduce various ways of controlling motor current, detecting overloads, and so forth. So, for now, enjoy the live video, and please visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Watch the video. Thanks. This is an updated demonstration on Arduino and a stepper motor controller. What's different about this is I've added an LCD display. This is a current meter that will measure my motor current. This is an Arduino Nano. This board is nothing but four MOSFETs and some indicator LEDs that I'm using to drive the stepper motor here, which is rated at 5.1 volts at 1 amp. I wrote my own routines because the ones that come in the Arduino library are so inflexible and just crap. Uh, I just couldn't make much use out of them. So, we're going to go ahead and power this up and I'll explain some of what you're seeing as it's cycling through and doing its thing. Watch your current meter and watch the speed of the... Okay, first what you saw come on, it just did one revolution and then a faster revolution and you notice that the slower the revolutions the higher the current draw. What does your uh, revolutions is there's steps and then there's delay between the steps. 
What this is doing, if you look at it gradually, this is going to do 200 steps and it will gradually speed up. And you notice as it speeds up, the current will probably drop. Now it's in something called random. It's just going to do random movement. Random speeds, random directions. But you notice again, slower it is, the more current draw. Watch it when the random runs out. And the current will drop as the motor speeds up. This is because the windings are turned on a lot faster are turned on a lot longer time thus drawing more current. I have not put a current limiting circuit in this yet. That's going to come for the next that's going to come uh, next in a little later video. But again notice as it speeds up in its rotations the current level will drop. I'll go ahead and reset it so you can see it from the beginning again. And of course I've added an LCD display to give us various messages. Essentially I wrote two Arduino subroutines and the rest of it is just uh, delay loops and your standard I2C uh, print statements and the two routines I wrote up called reverse and forward or I could rename them clockwise and counterclockwise all you pass to the argument is you pass the number of steps and the step delay note one thing if let's reset it and watch what you see on here again there's five milliseconds and you're going to delay then 10 milliseconds and it's slower. This particular motor, if you don't have enough delay between the steps, the motor will stall. This is an electromechanical device. There is inductance involved here. It's There is some little bit of delay and if you're trying to switch it so fast, it will just stall. And so that's pretty much it. Let it run just a little bit more. Now it'll go to random. And like I said, once again, see how the current kicks up. So the schematic of this is a no-brainer. It's just four driver transistors, straight connection to your Arduino, this meter is in the ground side of the motor power supply and this is just a power distribution board for the Arduino. Alright, I hope you enjoyed seeing this. Uh, check out the associated web pages for the Arduino code and a little better explanation on things. Thanks for listening.